When you think of Buddhas, the last thing that I think of is Montana. Now, imagine 1,000 Buddhas in a garden in Montana. Let's check this out. What you're seeing is 1,000 Buddhas. One thousand hand casted Buddhas. Each one leading to one God. Row after row. Buddha after Buddha here in Montana. Who knew something so wild existed? You do now. Each one has their own name and feature about them. For instance, this one is Glorious Constellation. Talks about the king and who they are. The smaller ones each have their own name and who they are. Each one is completely different as far as who they are. That's a lot of Buddhas. And to give you an idea of just how big this is. Yeah, it, it's huge. This whole garden was set up here for basically all religions to uh, come here and feel peace. It's kind of like uh, their temple or uh, just basically a garden for anyone to come here and uh, reflect and feel peace from Buddha. It's kind of cool. Actually, it's very cool. I don't know what this is, other than like a wind thing. It's kind of cool. I guess this can only be described as a uh, peace offering place of sorts. There's money, bottle openers, candy, a broken knife, pictures, uh, somebody's uh, name tag from Ross. He must work out. Someone just saw Little Wayne in concert. I'm sorry. It's it's too bad. So yeah, interesting. Now I'm not too sure about these that go all the way around the entire garden. But, I think they might be from people who have donated and helped fund this 
giant garden or even who help upkeep it they do have um, festivals and things out here that the native tribes come out and help uh, do different classes and seminars so it's pretty interesting this is Buddha Shakyamuni He's not really that tall. He's probably only about uh, seven feet tall. And he sits on this big pedestal. Now I'm not too sure exactly what this is. They do have a lot of very interesting flags going around this. It turns a little, and then there's a bell up there that that arm is supposed to hit, but I'm not too sure the purpose of exactly what it does. This Buddha is Marme. Z. Let's see if I can lighten that up a little. There. There she is. starting to rain. This is Buddha Mopathe. even some in this person's front yard and in the backyard and out by the shed and this is just a giant uh, section of Buddhas thumbnail. Both of them. That person's missing a hand. And not all of them have long thumbnails. It's kind of interesting. There's a bone coming out of his, uh, Waistband there. Interesting. 
So in talking with the woman at the gift shop, the land for this place was purchased 17 years ago. It took roughly 12 years to hand mold each one of those Buddhas, all 1,000 of them. This started because of a dream that a monk had. And when he was in Colorado, he and a bunch of explorers traveled out here. And when they saw this area right here, the monk said, this was what I saw in my dream. This is where we will build this garden. And here it's been. They don't really advertise it much, just because it's part of the Indian reservation and they don't want it to get uh, out of control. I think it's awesome. Tangled around my foot. <sighs> Not too sure what it is. It's still a bunch of those flags. Out of breath from running up the hill. <laughs> and there it is. Garden of 1,000 Buddhas. Missoula, Montana is that way. Kalispell is that way. So it's just almost, uh, it's a little closer to Missoula than Kalispell, but it is in between the two. And the highway is right there. And no one even knows this place exists, really. And that's all right.